Hey guys, I love tradingview.com and one of the issues I was running into was trying to figure out whether I was getting real-time data in my charts and it wasn't really that apparent inside of TradingView whether I was getting real-time data. It looked like it was updating pretty quickly, but I wasn't quite sure. And so after a little bit of research, I realized that um, you can actually see what kind of data you're getting if you go to pretty much any stock and then click up here. This is ju this just means the market is open, the green dot. And then if you click the red, you'll see what kind of data you're getting. So. In this browser window, I'm actually logged out, and that's kind of on purpose just because I want to see what kind of data you get if you're not logged into TradingView. If you're not logged into TradingView, or if you have an account and you're not paying them currently, then you're going to get this basic plan data, and the basic plan data is one update per second. So if you want this to disappear, then you do need to subscribe to TradingView, either sign up for their free trial or pay for an account. And you can pay monthly, annually, whichever you prefer. After that's done, it's important to note that you're still going to get the CBOE BZX data. So if you're on a premium plan and you go to your chart and it still shows a red indicator and it shows CBOE BZX here, that means you're getting their version of real-time data which isn't bad, it's not one per second, so it's not terrible, it's actually real time. But if you want it right from the source, if you want the New York Stock Exchange real-time data or another type of real-time data, you can upgrade your account. And the way you do that, if I switch screens here, I'm logged in in this TradingView account here, so I've already paid for their plan, and you'll see that I don't have any red indicator. I just have this green indicator here, which means I'm getting NYSE data. And you can see the NYSE here instead of the, uh, the other one. So let's go to the, basically to upgrade your plan to get this NYSE data instead of the, instead of the uh, CBOE BZX. You click on the hamburger menu up here in the chart, and then you hover over your username, and then you click account and billing. And then you scroll down and you should see the plan that you're paying for. And then underneath of that, you'll see extra data subscriptions and you should have nothing listed here. So click on add extra market data. For me, all I needed was the New York Stock Exchange real time data. So that's all I clicked. But if you click the ones you want, you can click on next and then you can pay with a credit debit card, Google Pay or PayPal. But it's important to note that once you're done with the purchase, you do need to fill out a form that has your personal information on it and, you know, goes through some of the requirements such as saying, you know, you're not working for a brokerage, you're not a professional trader, you use it for personal use. And, you know, if you select some of those other things, then you might need to pay out, uh, fill out some more paperwork before you can actually use the real-time data. But once you're done, once it's all set and once it's propagated, meaning once your card has been charged and it's been applied to your account, uh, which should be fairly immediate, then you just need to go back to your chart and refresh the chart and you should be getting the real time data. And then the way that you can verify that you're getting the real time data is seeing here that it says NYSE next to any of the stocks, right? And then the, the green indicator should show up here, meaning that the market is open, but there's no red next to it. So we're not getting any kind of indications that we're getting, you know, their version of real-time data or any delayed data. All right. Thanks, guys.